to another episode of From the Shadows. And as always, guys, if you are enjoying the series so far, please do drop a like on the video. Now, in our last episode, we beat Oxair by two goals to nil. And that continued what was a relatively good run for us. We lost a couple of games, uh, poor one against USPCO, and obviously the uh, relatively unceremonious thrashing. Well, I say thrashing, it was 3-0 against Nancy. But all in all, a decent start to the season for us. Now... I decided to pick this game because it means that it's a top of the table clash. And this game's got even more weight bearing on it because the fact is, Harve have had their manager poached. But I don't know why I said poached like that. Um, by um, Lorient in the top flight. So they are currently without a manager and have kind of just struggled a little bit um, over the last couple of matches. So today is there's no better time to be playing one of our promotion uh, rivals than in this game, basically. But before we do that, um, let's just jump straight in and uh, take a little look at what's been going on this month. So first game of the month. Wow. Against Ajaccio, I was... I just couldn't believe this. This was a fantastic performance all round. Probably one of our biggest wins of this save, I think. Just everything went right for us for once. And that was nice to see. Hagim Jabali, yet again, putting us ahead on seven minutes. I am still trying to get Antelope back in. I know someone said, we need to get a reserve fitness coach. I've tried. I, I've gone out there and I've looked at fitness coaches. Every single one of them either wants too much money to be a reserve fitness coach or they refuse to be the reserve fitness coach, which is a pain in the ass. Um, so that's a little bit stupid at the moment, but we're just going to have to do our best uh, with things, basically. Uh, Gamiet then made it 2-0 uh, with a love. Well, I say with a lovely finish. He played Hakim Jabali through. Jabali's shot was rebounded to Gamiet and Gamiet made it 2-0. Then, just before halftime, ball played in. Musavu King flicks it on, and there's Jeremy Oban at the back post to make it 3-0. Then, in the second half, we won a penalty. Jabali was fouled on the edge of the area, and Thomas Gamiet dispatches it for four. Before I decided, well, you know, let's just get Jabali off, because he was... Well, he wasn't exactly that knackered, but I thought it was a good opportunity to get Hugo on and give him a little run out. And lo and behold, played in by, I think it was uh, Nicholas Janvier, who, of course, you know, we're going to call Nicky Jans or Nicky January, because that is uh, apparently his name. Uh, that would make sense, actually. Um... So, Nicky January played through uh, Hugo, and Hugo just rounded the goalkeeper, and it was 5-0. And, yeah, just brilliant stuff. Um, more results like that, please. Obviously, the Obelisk can absolutely obliterate teams at times, as it did against the Jassio. In fact, both the Jassio teams have taken... Well, we've given them the D. Let's put it that way. Um, next up, we had Colmar away from home. A poor team, but we were always going to struggle a little bit with these away games and in fact I think we were a little bit lucky to do as well as we did in this one really um, Hakim Jabali gave us the lead just before half time as he does uh, he really has been solid for us this year I think he's one of the top scorers in the league just because he's been so consistent he does have a good finish on him there's no denying that then just after half time Quentin Pereira of course has been one of our best players this year as well making it 2-0 and I think that was a little bit against the run of play they were actually quite good in this one um, didn't get a lot of shots well they got a lot of shots in um, didn't get a lot of the ball but they did get a lot of shots uh, Cal Ari got on back for Colmar and I was worried but then eventually um, we got that last minute sort of um, highlight and I thought oh crap they're going to equalise but it was actually just Christoph Herrell Her Her getting himself sent off and it was a 2-1 win away from home and that was what we needed those sort of wins are the ones that are going to get us into a good position to get up I feel next up though we had a winnable game really I feel against uh, Berrichon at home and uh, they're 11th in the league coming into the game I just uh, I don't know it just wasn't really working for us Anthony uh, Deruard gave them the lead uh, from the penalty spot, albeit, which was a bit of a pain, but it was Gamiet that conceded the penalty too, which was disappointing. Um, he shouldn't really have been there at all, but oh well. Um, we had to make a couple of changes, brought a few things on, and Ivan Antelek off the bench to level for us, so at least we managed to keep ourselves unbeaten for a little while, which is good. I just I feel like these are the sort of games that we can't be dropping points in, but as you can see, 3,412 people there. It's going up. Uh, like someone said in the comments yesterday, the football hipsters are flocking to Paris FC, and and that's always a good thing, basically, um, with their lovely, lovely French moustaches, um, which actually would just look normal, wouldn't it, I suppose? Um, right, Dijon. Next up, away at Dijon. And this was such... I mean, I felt sorry for them at one point in this game because look at the amount of injuries they got in this match. That being said, still think we probably could have won this. Um, they took the lead through Roman Amalfitano from the penalty spot, albeit we've got to stop giving away penalties and it's a pain. Um, but Quentin Pereira levelled for us on 30 minutes. Good stuff. Didats then gave us the lead on 66 minutes and obviously they'd had a few injuries and I thought, right, we're going to do this. We're going to go there and we're going to win. Unfortunately, Elvis Saric, who'd... Uh, come off the bench unfortunately he hasn't played so much this year um conspired to yeah end up with the ball in our own net disappointing to draw this one as well but all of that is leaving the league looking very interesting so we are top at the moment two points clear but um half do have a game in hand on us um, as do Angers so in fact yeah 
um, Half had two games in hand on them. So it's very, very tight in there at the moment. Look, I mean, look, actually, I've just realized how tight it actually is. Looking at those teams below, like, there's like seven teams. No, six teams are all on 21 points. So after 10 matches or 11 or 12, it's uh, it's pretty tight. And that's that's fun to see, if nothing else, um, how well things are going there. Now, down at the bottom, um, Ajaccio, fair enough. But bear in mind, GFC Ajaccio, who we beat 5-0, are only sort of a mid-table club. And as you can see from the average ratings, Quentin Pereira is right up there, but Jabali is the top assist and also joint top goal scorer in this division. What a month he's had. Uh, as for players, that's, as you can see, Didats is the best key passer in this league with 43, but Pereira is not exactly far behind either. So let's take a gander at the squad. Goal scored Jabali, of course, with 6 in 12 or 13, I suppose. So he's doing okay, but I just need a little bit more out of him, maybe. Um, but he's doing very well creatively, too. Pereira has 4, as does Didats, which is all always nice. As for assists, Didats has seven, but Jabali with six assists and six goals is actually very, very impressive, and I'm, I'm glad to see that kind of return from him. Uh, Antelek's got three goals, to be fair, and he's only started one match, so we really do need to try and get him back in the team. It's just the match fitness, unfortunately. It goes up for a bit, and then it will come down, which is a little bit annoying. Quinta Pereira is the best overall with Didats just in behind, but how come Jabali's still not doing bad? Lots of people above seven, which is good. Uh, no regular starters are that low. In fact, all the regular starters are all above seven, and that's pleasing. Um, key aerial challenges we've got 44, 42 rather for Jeremy Oban, key passes of course 55 for Didats, key tackles we've got 7 for Puyo and Cantini and interceptions of course Puyo is the man, although surprisingly low average rating but I believe that's just defensive midfielders never seem to get good ratings on this game I find, um, no defensive midfielder I've had anyway, even people like Tony Ivancic never used to get good ratings and of course the most value is Ivan Antolek right, let's get into this damn game um, they still don't have a manager as far as I'm aware, oh they do, they've got Alex Dupont now, okay let's have a little gander and see who he's come from uh, career stats, that's not the right one at all oh he's played for Dun Dunkirk uh, achievements, is it, it is an achievements isn't it uh, he was Stad Bressois manager. Okay, fair enough. Right, so let's get into this then. Um, we are at home. Decent amount of tickets sold, by art level anyway. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm confident. He won't, you know, they're going to probably play a new tactic because he's in charge. Let's do a quick pick and see who's actually fit here. We're still lacking a few. Defensively, some of these players might not look that great, but I still feel there's a lot of potential from people like Oban, although he really should be... His star rating is surprisingly low still. I feel like he really does need to work hard if he's going to get that potential. Petta 10 as well, I'm pretty pleased with still. They're going to take a little while to settle in, but I feel like there's a lot to be had there. Unfortunately, um, where's my other... Oh, Mustafu King, yeah, he's not fully fit. Puyol may have to fill in there, uh, which is fine, because we do have Ahmed Kashi, who's getting a few more games for us lately, so we'll take it. One of the older players in the team. But as for everyone else, Jabali did that. Pereira, who's filled his bloody hell. Look at that. I did not see that coming. I'll take it. Um, Gamia and Umvia, of course. On the bench, we've got Frick, Karma Q, uh, Nikki January, Antelek, Thor, and anyone else? Who, actually, who would I, else would I like? Is there... I don't think we need two centre-backs on the bench. I'm going to get Giretto in, because he's not played as much, and... Um, yeah, we're going to go with that for now. Okay. Uh, so I apologise if there's a little bit of muddleness in the episode. I would have had to have glued things back together, basically. Um, so let's hope... God, we really are strong in the midfield. That is the one area that we are absolutely so strong in. And I'm glad, because, frankly, I feel that's probably the most important part of our team, is that midfield area. Um, we are the favourites, because we're the home team, I'm guessing. Let's make sure none of this is bugging out while I was gone. Um, so, let's see. Um... Hmm, I'm not really sure how this is going to play out. Like, they are playing quite wide, but they've also got two defensive midfielders, so I'm just worried... No, okay. No biggie. We'll just go with what we've got. Uh -huh. Jabali, though. Seven... Sorry, not seven. Six goals and six assists. Like, six goals would be a decent return, but the six assists added to that, for me, is fantastic. He's either scoring or contributing a, an assist in virtually every game. In fact, in 12 of the... Th well, on average nearly every game, which is fantastic. Didats is nearly at that sort of level as well, and those, I want a player that basically gets what I would call points, I suppose. Um, the comparison, I'm using a hockey term, really, where they combine point, uh, goals and assists to form points. Bezat, ball in, and oh, well played. Good stuff. Right, break. Look at this now. This is when we counter-attack. Jabali, go on, get that ball out wide. Oh! That was poor. We had so many players surging forward there, and what an opportunity it would have been for us to actually get a break on them that's where we're at our strongest is when we're on the break Jabali now people need to get up in support unless he's going to shoot from long range out to Didax man over 10 getting forward whip that in ball across Jabali gets across his man and it is 1-0 to Paris FC and it's Hakim Jabali who else seventh goal of the season seven goals six assists and at the moment we are going top of the league by five points that's crazy 
we'd actually be the standout leaders in this division. Now, admittedly, some of the teams below us have would have games in hand, so could be cutting that lead down to two. Uh, sorry, to uh, yeah, two points. Great ball there, Jabali getting across the near post. What a little finish that is! I'll tell you what. He's doing everything he can to stop Ivan Antelek from getting back in our team, basically. Uh, you know, he's playing incredibly well. And if he can continue his sort of... I would like to see him get sort of... Hmm, maybe 18, 19 goals in the league this year. That's sort of where I'm looking at. Oh, damn it. The little deflection just maybe wrong-footed Sigurdist. Um, and I think they probably deserve it from the way they've started. Poor to concede, though. Um, it's going to be tough. It's a top-of-the-table clash. A win would be incredibly important. I think it might have taken a little nick as the cross comes in. That just oh, very much so. Don't think that really deserved wrong foot in the goalkeeper though. I think he should have maybe done a little bit better with that. But what can you do? And Via now out wide to Jabali, who's well, he's gone very very wide, creating a bit of false width for us really. But the great thing about that is players will bomb into the box when he does get it out wide. Like um, Via, and that is fantastic. He's not even one of our attacking mids. He is a centre mid. Johan and Via there making it two one to Paris FC, and that's what I like about this system. And I think maybe why it works because when Jabali does go out wide, we actually get a bit of width. But as soon as he does that, look at the amount of players pouring into the box. For, well, okay, so three players, but there are none of which are strikers. So we've actually got a lot going forward at times, and it is great to see Cantini, Pereira, Jabali was in a great space again there and via gamiette can he play it through for oh and gunter there makes the save we're starting to play a lot better football now probably should have done a little bit better with the finish there i don't know who it was i think it might have been um Pereira. but hey that's a good first half performance for us they've had a few shots um look at that, jabali a goal and an assist again he's just uh, i'm loving his work i don't know he may not be that great but he works with this system and maybe I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, I'm hope I'm, I imagine in the end he will probably get um, usurped by someone like Hugo or an amazing striker when we can find one. But the fact is, for now, he could well be the focal point of an attack that could get promoted to the top flight in France. And that, for me, is, you know, obviously incredibly wishful thinking at this stage because we are still only, uh, what, not even a third of the way through the season. But we're doing well. We're competing at the top. Oh, that's poor. Come on, guys. That what? Oh, fuck off. He got the ball. He quite clearly got the ball. Um, okay, that's bull. I'm sorry. Usually, uh, with the penalties, it's fine. But that one, he quite clearly won the ball. Uh, and no one say, oh, he went through the back of him. You can't possibly know that. Um, and he didn't, because he was facing the wrong way. Oh, that's a joke. Anyway, well, moving on. Um, <laughs> you just got to take it, haven't you? That's a bit of a shitter, if I'm honest. I want to see what the press have to say about that, because that, to me, did not look like a penalty in any way great penalty though in the end goalkeepers i don't know what he's doing there um poor i will be having words with the referee on that one uh right what can we change gammy is on a booking and he hasn't oh actually i'll tell you what who hasn't had a good game did that i'm tempted to bring uh nicky january on Ah, screw it, let's do it. In fact, I'm going to just freshen things up a little bit. I'm going to get Gamiette off as well, um, because he's on a booking. I don't want to get him red card. And I'm going to give Morgan Giretto, um a tryout here. It's two all. They're, they've probably been the better team in terms of the number of shots they've had. Um, go on. Go on, Nicky Jan Oh, what about that? Straight off the bench, and Nicky January scores 3-2 to Paris FC. This has been quite an entertaining game, actually. Um, I'm going to stop calling him that. It's a little bit... Um, <laughs> we'll call him Nicolas Janvier. Fantastic. Obviously a bit of a set-piece specialist. What about that? He is... I think that's what I said in our first episode, actually, wasn't it? That he was a bit of a set-piece, a bit of a dead ball specialist. And, you know, having him in the team a bit more might not be such a bad thing. Cantini. Pereira. And V on the edge of the box. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank God for that. It's going to be mopped up by Oban. Back to Sigrist. I thought we were going to have some defensive guffuffle there and end up conceding a goal. Um, try to not do that, lads. If we could win this, that would be a massive win for us. Like, truly huge. Get to that first... There we go, Pereira. Jabali on his own again, but he does have support coming up on that right-hand side. Oh, we need the, the system also relies on fantastic fullbacks. Ten getting through. Jabali. Oh, that is a poor effort from Hakim Jabali. From the way he's played this season, you'd actually expect a little bit better from him, if I'm honest. Um, it's been a bit few and far between in terms of the shots, but we look like we're about to somehow sneak another win. And we've done quite well in our live comms this, so far this season. And Vienna breaking down the right. Can he whip the ball in for Jabali? He's kind of run offside here. Pereira for a long ranger. John Vier. Giretto, Jabali takes it inside and he's offside. But hey, I'll tell you what, the two lads look like they've done a decent job since they came on. And we've won. That is a huge win for us. And yeah, two assists for Petter 10 as well. So you can't fault that. And Villa getting an assist himself. Uh, a, no, a go not an assist, a goal. An assist and a goal for Hagman Jabali. And of course, 
the uh, wonderful free kick winning goal from Nicolas Janvier. Fantastic stuff. So we are now top of the league by five points, albeit with games in hand for other teams. But hey, I'd rather have the points on the board. With the top scorers in this division as well, goal difference is starting to look a little bit more. Um, in fact, we've got the best goal difference in the league as well. Because oh, of course, because we beat half, didn't we? So yeah, um, not the best defense in this league by any stretch. And but the sheer amount of goals that we're scoring is certainly making a hell of a Look at that, Hagam Jabali, most assists, most goals, best average rating. He's looking like player of the season material at the moment. So that is glorious stuff. Um, right, let's see what else we've got. Let's see what's coming up. Um, oh, mm, it's too close, that's the thing. Uh, what about Stad Level 1? Um, that's a reasonable number of games. Oh, actually, no, we'll do Valencians because that's they're a tougher match. Uh, and it's on TV, so they are they'd be further up the league, I think. And there's a decent number of games in there, that's for sure. And in fact, there might even be one more game than that because of the cup. Um, so there we go, guys. If you like what you've seen, please do drop a like on the video. I'm sorry about the little guffuffle in the middle of the video. Um, and if you liked it even more than that, please do subscribe to my channel for more Outcaster icons and From the Shadows in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode for a home match against Valencians, and hopefully we can continue this fantastic start to the season um, and really start cementing ourselves in those play in those promotion spots. That's where we really want to be. I genuinely feel like we can actually do it this year. And with the way we're going so far, why would I not think that? I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.